Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. So I decided to take the whole week off and just work on the actual Honda. I had to, you know, re-clear the car. I wasn't really too happy with how everything turned out, especially when I pulled out the car into the sunlight and I saw a bunch of those imperfections. So it was just best to reshoot the clear. So I sanded things down with some 800 and then reshot about two coats on there with clear. I got the front bumper and the rear bumper prepped right here. These are gonna be ready for primer soon. Uh, the rear hatch just needs a small quick scuff and the hood right in front of me actually here needs to get uh, some work done. We have some rusted spots in there that need to get grinded out, filled in and repaired. So there's a lot to do today. So stay tuned for the episode guys and uh, enjoy. So in my water, I just have the sandpaper kind of soaking for about like half an hour so far. I have my block, I have a thousand grit. I just have a soft pad, some 1500 and some 2000. Just gonna start off with some 1000 and uh, just go from there. So after uh, wet sanding and polishing the car for a bit, I kind of just pulled it outside and gave it a bit of a break on that. Cause I'm gonna move my attention now to the actual bumpers and the rear hatch. The hood in the corner, I'm actually gonna leave that for now because honestly I have so much work still to do by putting in the engine bay that really that doesn't really need to be done right now. I may look somewhere else for a white existing hood just to save the amount of work cause there is a lot of rust and damage on that thing, especially on the underside that I wanna see if I can find something that's actually in pretty decent condition. The bumpers, um, the rear bumper is prepped and ready, just needs a little quick scuff from some overspray that I've had because I've actually had it in the garage while I've been painting. The rear bumper just actually has a couple of things that I have to fix up here. For example, this uh, crack right here needs to be repaired. I still have one as well, I think on this side right over here. Same spot. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some filler work on this, prep this up. The rear hatch is ready, just sanded that down, gotta clean it up. Clean up the work area a little bit here, and then we'll move our attention to throwing on some high build primer and getting these guys prepped for uh, paint, because these are kind of the last pieces before we actually can go ahead and kind of assemble the car. Um, it's been long overdue. I know this video's, um, you know, almost two weeks since I posted one, but I've just kind of been busy with a lot of things at the same time. I re-cleared the whole car just because I wasn't happy with how it looks. So uh, let's go ahead and prep this up and get this painted. Here I have some 220. 
So I laid about three pretty heavy coats of high build on the bumpers and the hatch. Honestly, everything went well. I feel like when I do this type of a step before I do a base clear, it's just so much easier. I'm less nervous because it's the, you know, it's something that gets hidden. These won't be uh, staying gray or painting white. These will actually be black along with the center area inside the grill area there. I think it's the grill. That one as well as getting resprayed. Bumper there. Things are looking good. I'm pretty much just gonna pull the car back inside the house and um, clean up here a little bit because I have a lot of garbage from all the painting that I've been doing. And uh, we'll see how things look like tomorrow. All right, so guys, continuing from last night, the hatchback right now is outside just hanging out. I've had the heater on in the garage for the past night because we've had some colder weather that uh, it helped cure the paint and dry it quicker. Uh, we are at a good shape that I'm going to go ahead and start sanding with some 600 grit sandpaper. Getting it nice and smooth before we go ahead and apply that base coat. So let's get this done. As well guys, I still have a little bit of my icing glaze left. Uh, there is a couple imperfections that I do see on the car's uh, bumpers. Uh, something that I didn't see prior to that uh, primer has revealed for me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with this and see how things turn out. Basically using the block to shape it first. This is just my way of doing it. After this, we'll kind of get the soft block in here, shape things out a little bit better, but try to knock down that initial stuff before we use a softer block in here. So right as I was spraying right off the bat, I noticed that my gun wasn't working properly. So I stopped spraying. I totally just cleaned the gun completely and we're back in action potentially. So let's continue, let's continue spraying. You can see right here where it started to look like it thinned out. I don't know if something happened to the fan. I don't know if something was stuck in there from the high build, but I just took the gun and I cleaned it thoroughly. I did before, but something must have found its way through. Everything's coming out pretty good so far. No issues. Uh, it really helps having a lot more space to work with so I'm not bumping into things because on the hatch, on the hatchback, I actually bumped into the paint one time when I was painting and it just drove me crazy. But having this much room, everything's looking good. So we're gonna do a third coat just to make sure we have good coverage. But we're looking pretty good.
All right, guys, so I ended up finishing the three coats of base, and then I ended up shooting some clear. I got three coats of clear as well on the bumper and the hatch, and things came out very nice. I'm very happy with how things have turned out. So the next day, I let everything dry nicely, had the heater on, made sure everything cured up properly, and I've actually assembled the car a little bit. So I'll show you guys what it's looking like right now. I did a couple extra things as well because it's kind of been a while since I posted up a video that I want you guys to see a little bit more progress on the hatch. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how things have turned out. So those of you who are new to the channel, you may have seen that the windshield has a lot of overspray. That's fine, it's being removed because I ended up cracking it during the painting process. So I'm going to see if I can find one at a local junkyard and just do the work myself and save some money. Trim line pieces, those are going to be painted white because I'm pretty sure that I have too many black accent pieces because the um, mirrors and the handles, door handles are going to be black, but I don't want to have too much black on the car. And the trim line pieces on the very top on the roof, those are going to be black as well. So I don't want to have too many black accents, but I have an extra set. So if I don't like it, I can always go back and just go with black, but we'll see how that goes. Also brake lines and fuel lines is next. Um, those were completely rusted out on the car before, so those have to be completely replaced. Uh, I'm going to have a buddy of mine help me out with that. He's a mechanic, so he should hopefully be able to, uh, help me make sure that the car is safe to drive because I don't know if I can do it myself. I've seen some people do some custom lines online, but I just want to be 100% sure that it's properly done. So I might have him help me out on that. So that's going to be it. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button as well, guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next one because we've got a lot of uh, fun things to do in the future. So see you guys later.